back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. We join Ethan on the final trial to save his son, and boy is it ever a doozy. I like the red hallway aesthetic. The last origami figure. The last trial. You need to kill yourself to save your son. Hey, I can keep saying that, can't I? The last origami figure. The last trial. The last origami figure. The last trial. The last origami figure. The last trial. The last origami figure. Is this the, the equivalent trial. of press X to Jason? Origami figure. This is the equivalent the of uh, Madison getting the, the sexually transmitted figure. dial tone. The last trial. The last origami figure. This is what she the hears last now. Trial. Mm. The last origami figure. The last trial. Room the last 19. origami figure. Where the is last it? Trial. The last origami figure. Hey, wait a minute. The last trial. I think I may have just realized something. What? Nothing. Keep going. So the final the trial. Last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? F what? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly sixty minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. <laughs> save Sean. And die. Christ. Okay, I know who the origami killer is. He loses his Who is it? But at least he's alive. He's the Maybe meme that the keeps right this game going. Well, let's think here. The cameras. He must be watching me. Would you drink the poison or, or not? Just enough time to save Sean. Poison? So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. Well, actually, uh, we've done four way. out of the five trials, which is enough for us to son. find out where Sean and actually is, so we don't I have to drink the poison. Son. And we, we'll still be fine. I've but for the sake of plot, me. kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. I'll find someone. <laughs> I don't like him that I'm much. Sure I can save him. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as well, I drink uh, this, and then no one can save Sean. There's no choice. I've got to do it. If I want to save my son. We we've really got no choice. We got to go drink the poison. Sweet. I mean, mm. from an ethical standpoint, we have to. Rest in peace, Dial Tone Dad. Sean's already dead. You're right. This is the meme that keeps the game going. And uh, like all memes, <laughs> he has to die. <laughs> I can't believe I figured it out. At least I hope I did. If I'm completely wrong, imagine that. Oh, well, down the hatch. What is this? <laughs> Wow, it's clear. It's just watered down pure hell. I was about to say it's chlorine. I like <laughs> your answer better. One more dial tone for old time's sake. Thank you. Thank you. Luckily, the dial tone has been passed to another. Down the hatch. Here we go. Glug. Oh, that's some good poison. <laughs> Alright, I can't keep a secret any longer. That poison doesn't do shit. I didn't think so. It's a fucking placebo. It, like, you, don't, you, you don't die in an hour. He, he just drank just... Wait. It's a seltzer water. Oh, I love Sprite. I did it. So, the address is 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. If you punch I did that it. Into, punch it into Google Maps, and off we go. I got an hour until we <coughs> die. <laughs> And now, now, now that I think about it, my theory's stupid. 
<laughs> I hate my theory. <laughs> Fuck it. I didn't get it right. Never mind. Well, now, now is the time to test those theories, because we're going to do uh, our final uh, Jaden play here. Okay. Or at least, at least at least his final chapter before we get to the final one. Uh, it is basically using Ari to figure out who the killer is. Oh. We are gonna, we're now going to take all the clues, everything that we've learned, and everything we've gotten since then, and really figure out who this bastard is. Hmm. We have enough so, evidence for that? Yes, we do. We do. So. Okay. Who do you think it is? Well, just for shits and giggles, I said it's Jason, our other dead son. There has to be a goddamn you but it's, it's not it. Yeah, no, that's that's way this off. Jason die. is so dead. He oh is. yeah, he's he's so dead. Uh, my first thought was uh, the the bad cop that we had around it, but uh, you told me that was wrong. That All guy. Up and ready to go. Yeah, he's too easy to be him. What are you talking about? The well, I mean, it over. it had it all set up. He might have a brother. I don't know. Or it might have a dead brother. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I. And if you say something change. stupid like Norman Jaden's the origami killer, I'm gonna flip. The investigation isn't <laughs> over. You have absolutely. Ari's no my dead brother. No. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Uh, I'm a federal agent. It doesn't work that way. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. Well, you tell him, pretty boy. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't Why? give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. But you said it origami, which means nice you have back. no value in your no words. Man. Yeah, you're a federal agent, so you know what you can do? You can take his case file and say, Okay, FBI, I'll take it from here. <laughs> you can do that! I got it. It's this. in your jurisdiction! Oh, that's some good rock candy. Mm, maybe I am unstable. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. All right, so we're gonna throw <sighs> throw Ari on. We're gonna yeah, yes, yes. Drugs are bad. Don't don't shove uh, ground up pop rocks up your nose. I get it. So do me a favor. Uh huh. Tell me right now before we reveal everything. Am I gonna be disappointed? It'll end up killing you if you're. Are you gonna what? Careful. Am I gonna be disappointed by the answer? That would be most unfortunate, sir. So let's take a look at our clues here. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. Let's let's start by uh, looking at our clues. Just uh, I'm trying to see if there's any way I can change the background, but nope, it has to be this. That's fine. Maybe it was the guy we ran through the market for. <laughs> he was actually the guy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna analyze some clues and uh, geoanalyze some clues, and then we're gonna reach conclusions. So uh, first, we got the orchid. We got the origami figure. Two receipts got... from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Gas receipts near the killer's home. Two of the same ones near the crime scenes. The gun mm -hmm. the killer left at the blue. The Lagoon. gun at the club. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Oh shit, is it Scott Shelby? So it's a cop. Okay. Harry was in the court mode oh. when he was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Oh well that's hmm. convenient. Okay, let's take a look at the video file then. Hmm. Oh. I'll give it a play here. It actually is a video file. Hmm. We gotta look for a guy who was punched in the neck. And a guy who doesn't know how to use swords that well. <laughs> I was just thinking that. So look for people not in Kendo Club. <laughs> so we actually gotta find a certain part in that movie and analyze a certain frame. Hmm. 
So go ahead and rewind things. Right here. Where he's choking him. You can analyze watch. and find a gold watch. What? Lieutenant. What? Have we even seen this guy? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. The killer is a cop, and not just any cop, he's a cop who is a lieutenant at one point. Oh, at one that's, point. That's major. Hmm. Okay. So, what else we got Looks here? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Mm hmm. That's your, uh. Bad ending there. You totally do not have enough information to accuse Blake, and that's, of course, like I said, that's the wrong answer. Let's take a look at these gas receipts. And p upon further analysis, can't really find anything. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in but this zone. The killer is around this down. area. Not then. good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Hmm. So given that gas station, he lives around that area, but if we take those gas receipts analysis and we go with the fact that the killer is a cop, let's see if we can find any cops who were lieutenants within this area. Ooh. There he is. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. Huh. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. So we gotta find the one cop who lives in that area, and that is where we will find the true identity of the origami killer. Sweet. Let's go get him. Let's go pick him up. Hey, Blake. I'm sandbagging your career. Have fun with the 12 <laughs> pounds of coke I hid in your desk. <laughs> DEA's on its way. Have fun explaining that one. By the way, I've been slipping cocaine into your food for like years now. For like weeks now. <laughs> oh hey, it's the boy that's not Jason. Nope, this is again uh John Shepard's brother. Oh. We're gonna be doing one more little flashback as him. Oh and this and this is how we're gonna get our big reveal. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay, lay it on me. What you got? Nerd. Oh. <laughs> hang on, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. <coughs> I think the water's rising. I'm <coughs> hurrying. I'll be right back. So we gotta go find help, and uh, who's gonna? Well, I don't really care about John that much. I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, he 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 is mean to me, and he and he broke my really cool toy plane the other day. I mean, and I'd get the bed this time. I don't have to sleep on the on the in, in my uh, bedroom drawer anymore. I've got to get dead. Well, this is how a boy becomes a man. He saves himself from death. Suck it up, punk. Long live, live the king. king. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I am the Mufasa now. Wait, no, I live. The, I'm the Scar now. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. There is no one around to help. My brother will die if we do not find anybody. Oh no, oh dear. Killer bot 353 is malfunctioning. So how old do you think this kid is right now? Seven. Se seven? That sounds good. Are, are we going to get a time inconsistency? Dad, dad. Dad, dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pot. Oh, He's coming. Get out of here, you little pest. Leave me you alone. Come, dad. Come on, John's going to die. John's going to die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, <laughs> won't it? Wow. Go Please, away. Dad, Dick. I'm begging you. John's going to die. John's going to die, dad. Crap. 
Well, that's not going to help us, but uh, when I was as young as five, I've been taught that if there was anything wrong, anything bad going on, to call 911. So John goes, so, like, this kid goes back to tell John that, sorry John, I tried to help, but you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> you stupid little boy. Well, maybe it's different different in Europe. Don't forget about this. I was right! I just made an offhanded S guess. Scott. Son of a bitch. Scott Shelby is somehow the origami killer. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Uh, well, that's why the punch to the neck works so well. You can't breathe. And then you see him get washed away. <laughs> John, no. So, uh, right. this brings up questions. Yep, uh, why don't we go ahead and let the game try and explain a few things first before we get to that. Okay. This got Shelby boohooing about the, oh, I just realized I'm the origami killer. So, gonna be doing a few things here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, slowly grab, you know what, this is no time for jokes. Burning all the evidence. Here we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> e -e 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 -e. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. Is there a problem in here, Mr. Shelby? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need company? Oh, crap. Maybe my choice has helped. So... We got the letter delivered to, uh, that one girl in the... yeah. With the typewriter and all that. And he was kind of, uh, defensive about that. Hmm. Next up, we got, uh... Cell phone. It's a cell phone he got from the trailer from that wall man. I didn't even notice. Then we got the shoe box. So, now I have questions, but I'm going to let this play out. Uh-huh. The shoebox he got from Hassan, of course. It's uh -huh. kind of get, getting all the evidence back so it doesn't get anywhere near traced back to him, I guess. There's three more bits, too. Eh. Yeah, obviously he was the one who was at the club. Mm-hmm. And, uh, next up here is a photo of John and him. Okay. So I guess she's dead now? Maybe? That was the... Oh. That was the last thing he had to do. Burn the picture, she dies. Yeah. And, of course, he murdered him as well. How, though? Weren't we in control of Shelby the entire time? Unreliable narrator. Ooh. Or maybe he did it in some cutaway. Like, the, there is a scene where uh, we're focused solely on Lauren looking at this, uh, that, that uh, ballerina thing. Oh. And then Scott comes back, kind of you know, wiping his brow a little bit. I think that's when he, you know, went in there. 
conked him out, came back, and then we got back control. But yeah! Misdirection. Woohoo. Scott Shelby is our killer. Now, uh, I am sure you have questions, so I will take them. Go. Uh, well, now that you've put me on the spot. No, no, it, it wrapped things up. I just, I don't know if I like the, uh, the conclusion or not. I've still got questions myself. Big, Scott's a big guy. How the fuck yeah. did he put all that glass in that fucking furnace? Yeah, how did he set up all the traps for... Dial tone dad to do. You're telling me that he can easily cat suit his way into the power plant and plant all that shit? Yeah, the traps don't make sense unless he had an accomplice. Where did he rent that big hall with the glass vi with like the glass and all that? You're telling me that he's been successfully keeping a car in a in a car garage for two years without anybody getting any suspicion? Because they've been using John Shepard's name probably. I'll go with you on that, that none of the stuff, like, trap-wise, makes sense. All the other stuff, I mean, they showed it, it kind of works, but... Yeah, I just, I honestly think somebody's been, just been stringing Ethan along. <laughs> like, all <laughs> all Shelby did was put Sean in a drain pipe, and somebody else is just fucking with him. Well, <laughs> either way... Next time on Heavy Rain, the finale, the conclusion, and the confrontation of the Origami Killer. And we'll see where your choices, Niskel, have led us. We'll see you next time. I got rid of a witness, isn't that good enough? But you didn't get rid of all the witnesses, did you? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs>